in line with the Prime Minister's call. Primary Industries Minister Theresa Kok alleged on Thursday that the previous government had shortchanged and forced the Malaysian Rubber Board or MRB to sell 2,800 acres of its land for an undervalued price of 1.5 billion ringgit in 2010. The plot of land known as Lot 481 in Sungai Buloh was first sold to Asset Tanah Negara Berhad or ATNB through a direct sale. A special purpose vehicle, SPV, through a direct sale wherein MRB was arbitrarily paid RM 1.5 billion as sale consideration. However, it has now come to the knowledge of MRB that thereafter, the said 2,800 acres of land was subsequently bought by Kwasa Land EPF for sale consideration of about RM 2.28 billion. MRB has therefore been shortchanged and there was a difference of about RM 800 million. MRB therefore contends that it is lawful, lawfully, lawfully and entitled to the difference of RM 800 million. Uh, this sum is still unaccounted for to date. The board has reported this dubious transaction to Jabatan Audit Negara for a Tara audit and further investigation. Note that the total size of Lot 481 is about 3,385 acres and upon sale of the 2,800 acres, the balance of Lot 481 was reduced to only 585 acres. The then cabinet, as part of the aforementioned sale, approved the de approved then board of MRB to utilize the RM 1.5 billion to develop the remaining, say, 585 acres of land. The then board sometime in the year of 2012-2013 resolved to build five facilities, namely a new lab, an office tower, discovery center or museum, sports facility and SEDEC complex for transfer of technology. Apart from this, the board shall also proceed with disciplinary action against certain individual officers in LGM for wrongdoings. She said a moratorium has been imposed on development for all land under MRB's land bank, including several approved joint venture projects. Cox said the MRB board had reported the sale to the National Audit Department for further investigation, while a separate report with the MACC was lodged in November. The development on the remaining land was for a new lab, an office tower, a museum centre, sports facility and technology transfer complex. The project was approved in 2012 but terminated in February last year when only 5% was completed. The Plantation Industries and Commodities Minister overseeing MRB at the time was Sabah BM politician Tan Sri Bernard Dompok.